Hey guys, this is Liam Shai with Pyramind. Thanks for joining me today. Got a quick tip for you, which was based on a request from a student of mine on a technique to have more cohesive transition sounds, which I think is a very important topic. So this technique is pretty cool, I think. I use it a lot, actually. And what's nice about it is it allows you to get away from using sample libraries and sort of grabbing uh, random transition sounds and actually creating your own transition sounds uh, where you use your, your song as the foundation for the sound design. So it's very um, timbrely consistent uh, with your piece. So let's go ahead and dive right in, take a look at how to do this technique. So we're going to need to create two audio tracks. So I'll just use Command T here. The first one I like to call routing. And the second one, resampling. And the way it works is we're going to actually route the output of all of our audio tracks here, just temporarily, away from the master channel and into the routing channel. So if I open up all the tracks, and we're going to select everything from our last, you know, actual track, so not the routing, not the resampling, so everything from, from number 28 all the way to number 1. And here, instead of master, we'll change that to routing. Great. Make sure that these guys are at 0. And now, uh, if I change my input here uh, to, to turn the monitor to in, we can actually audition this, make sure that it's working. And if I deactivate that, you'll notice that we are only hearing the return tracks now. So, good, so that's working, excellent. All right, so now what I wanna do is I want to create a new return channel uh, which is going to contain a reverb, and this is going to be the basis for our transition sound. So I'll use Option Command T, create a new return track, Command F, grab a reverb here, and I like to put a compressor after the reverb just to really make it nice and juicy. Uh, we really want the reverb sound uh, to be very prominent. Just reduce the threshold there, give it a little gain. Okay, so <clears throat> next what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my resampling track here to, tr to turn the input to resampling. Makes sense, right? All right, so now I'm going to zoom out uh, so we can see our entire arrangement here. And what I really want is for this transition to take place from, you know, about bar 27 here up to bar 29. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert some silence into the arrangement uh, following bar 29, and this is where the reverb decay is gonna do its magic. So if I just select that, uh, that space there where I wanna insert the uh, silence or space in the arrangement, I can just do Command-I. Beautiful. And that'll just move everything over, and we can delete that later using Shift-Command-Delete, the delete time command. Okay, cool. So this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up our routing and our resampling track. And okay, so now what we need to do is we need to actually do the, draw that automation uh, information. So if I go here, and I just clicked on the, uh, the return channel send there to bring that automation lane up. And if I hold option, and I hover right there between those two points, you can see I can get a little bit of uh, curved automation going on. Okay, so let's just give that a listen and see if that's working. Sweet. That's great. So you hear that nice decay. That is going to make a beautiful sweep. Okay, so if we're happy with that... Um, we can go ahead and record if you want to, you know, tweak the settings, um, change the, the reverb, decay time, uh, the compressor settings, you know, the automation sweep itself. 
all kinds of uh, different areas where you can tweak this to you know meet the needs of your particular situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit record. Beautiful. I don't, don't need to worry about that. And I don't need to worry about this. This is where the magic is. So I'm just going to grab that, hit reverse. And we'll go ahead and just drag you here. And at this point, I no longer need my routing channel. So I can go ahead and delete that. And I need to go ahead and change all of my outputs back to the master. So if I just do Command A, open everything up, I can change this to master. Beautiful. Okay. Next, I need to delete this space that we created. So uh, shift command delete. Beautiful. Okay. And now we have this nice um, resampled uh, reverb decay. So I'm going to do option command F just to pull up my fades, give that a little fade in. And let's go ahead and listen to this and see how it sounds. Beautiful. So yeah, so just go ahead and find a nice mix level where that makes sense, sounds cohesive. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is a little trick that I use all the time. I really find it helps to have uh, a cohesion when it comes to all of my sounds. So uh, transition sounds are definitely a big part of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Uh, stay tuned, keep watching. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool. And until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more. And that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music. Um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really helped me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.